unbiased mm -hmm. um, as you're purchasing content publishers like Farmers and also venturing into affiliate spaces oh like Hotel uh, Finder or Flight Search. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, we can call this session quits. We're, we're <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm more than happy to answer that. So, so I work in web search, right? And we want web search to be the Switzerland. We want it to be a trusted sort of resource where people know the best results are being returned. We feel very strongly about that. So, for example, a few years ago, a Wired reporter came and said, I think you guys are pushing YouTube more than you should. And so I went and I asked the question to the YouTube guys, and I said, okay, is there any merit to this? And the YouTube guys actually said, no, actually, we bend over backwards trying to make sure that we return videos from non-YouTube properties as well. Um, and so we, we feel very strongly about that. Uh, now, Google will have universal stuff where you have an option to click and go see local or whatever, but the web search stuff itself, you can't buy higher rankings. There's no, you know, boost for a Google property, just like there's no, you know, boost, you know, for payment. And so we feel very strongly that we do want people to be able to trust Google and, and be able to do that. But there shouldn't be any reason why Google can't show its own content on its own website. I agree with that as well. I think it's fine to show, you know, images, right? If somebody were to type in, you know, pictures of a sunset and we're not allowed to show pictures, I think that's really bad for users. That's our litmus test. Is it good for users? Uh, so I, I think you want to show the web results. You want it to be, if there's a fantastic site that, that's all about pictures of sunset that's collected all of Danny's tweets of, you know, a photo <laughs> album of Danny, that should be able to rank in the web. But we also feel like it's helpful if you can type in 2 plus 2 and get 4. The idea that you could type in poison control and we're not allowed to show you the 1-800 number for your local poison control, that's pretty scary. That's information you want fact, right? You don't want to go to a website where you type in another form where you find out, okay, what, what's my local poison control number? You, you really